Sure. Okay, so uh, you have a better chance of legislation if both the Senate and the House have uh, similar bills. County yeah. companion bills are called. Gen generally. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the one exception is uh, you, it, it, very often what will happen, the, 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 House will, the, House will have a, the Senate will have a bill, and uh, the, if they're identical, the governor will sign both of them, unless he's mad at a legislator, and he'll veto his bill and sign the other guys in the other House's bill. And, and sometimes, you know, for example, when you, when you want to get the political value of being a sponsor of a bill, um, you want to write a letter to the governor saying, you know, Governor, this is very important to me. And uh, I found, like, Governor Hughes was, he always responded to my letters. And um, I had some people playing games with a bill and trying to get the Senate bill passed instead of one of mine. Mm -hmm. And I, I went to Harry Hughes, and he vetoed the Senate bill. <laughs> <laughs> but a bond bill, now a bond bill, you can't do that. You can, your governor can only, if you like, if you had a, we had a bond bill for the, for the say, the, the, the Bel Air mansion. Mm -hmm. You have a House bill and a Senate bill, the governor has to veto one. Or, instead of providing for $1 million, it would provide for $2 million, because both bills and so on, you have to decide on that. So, if there's, when there's duplicate uh, bills and bond bills, the governor really has to veto one. Or he's doubled the amount of money. You know. So when you see two bills, one in the Senate, one in the House, right. that are similar, yeah. then uh, the same approach in the Senate uh, you would take as, as you would in the House. That is, you would write letters to the sure. uh, committee. Sure. Um, but it's centering on the committee members. Right. Hoping that you had somebody in your district on the committee see, would we, be we helpful. We don't in this district. We don't have anyone. Uh, mm -hmm. Senator Peters is on the budget committee in the Senate. Mm -hmm. uh, we have no one, none of the three delegates are on a fiscal committee, for example. Mm -hmm. And most of our bills go to Ways and Means that we're concerned with. And that, that's the ones that we're most concerned with. Right. Yeah. So they, uh, they, they were, when I was there, they, they were, Ben Cardin, when he was speaker, had been chairman of Ways and Means. There were six standing committees, and we were, a majority of bills went to the Ways and Means Committee. The rules then were any bill that involved an expenditure of five cents worth of public funds had to go to the Ways and Means, no matter what the subject matter was. Then you have the budget constraints. Uh, Maryland has the strongest executive budget in the, in the United States. Um, legislators can't, introduce, can't increase the governor's budget, with a couple of little exceptions. One of which is you can have a bill that would go above the budget, but if the bill has to contain in it a revenue measure. It has to raise a tax. I know one year, for example, the, uh, I had a bill for the handicapped children, the, the, the uh, uh, children with special needs and it provided $15 million for them. So in order to make it constitutional, they used to collect the uh, corporate tax twice a year. The personal, you know, you, when you're self-employed, you pay it four times, as you know, four mm -hmm. times a year. Well, the corporate was twice a year, so I switched the, corp made the corporations pay it four times a year, and that brought in like $15 million, and that went to hand the handicapped kids. Mm -hmm. But that's very unusual. Now, or now you also had a constitutional amendment back in the 80s uh, you can require the governor to fund something in the next budget. In other words, this, this year you're doing fiscal year 11. You, you could make it, he has to put in the budget of the legislature. He has to find a way to budget it for next year. But so, it, it, you know, in Congress, uh, they don't care much about a, a few, you know, as Senator Dirksen says, it's a billion here and a billion there, and pretty soon you're speaking about real money. Yeah. Well, the legislature, you really have tremendous pressure uh, to not pass right now spending bills or tax cut bills. And even, even when I was, was there, uh, we had a delegate from Anne Arundel County. He wanted to take the t sales tax off bird seed. Well, that's, that's a pretty small item. And we said, no, Betty, Betty Smith. And I said, we can't do it because, you know, the word's out, no, no tax cut bills. A year that, not as bad as now, but mm -hmm. it was a tight budget. Well, she came back. She, she had, I've got amendments to my bill. She made it for one single bird sanctuary on the, on the Patuxent River. Fiscal note was $40 a year. Mm -hmm. We turned it down. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't say, we're going to let you have your... T the legislators always have spending bills and, and tax cut bills, but they, they sort of don't want to vote for the revenue bills. So, you, you know... You, this year is going to be tough. Oh, it's brutal, yeah. Because yeah. last year you balanced the budget with stimulus funds, uh -huh. federal stimulus funds. And uh, I, I don't think we're going to get the same kind no, of money this no. year. Oh, no, no, no. So, and yeah. because all the other states are also clamoring. And we're running out of rainy funds. day funds and just, uh, mm. yeah, I mean, states are hovering on the, on the basis of uh, bankruptcy. I mean, mm. it's a terrible thing. And we're not, you know, unemployment isn't quite as bad in Maryland. Our unemployment is better than the national average. And mm -hmm. so, you know, our situation is only um, desperate. It's not hopeless. Yeah. 
Well, and, and also in order to keep the the AAA bond well, rating, yeah. you, you know, you have to have a cushion mm -hmm. so people expect yeah. to be paid. Yeah. So that you're yeah. not going to go. Before we run default. out of time, Bob, uh, would you let the audience know who to contact on this slot machine bills for the nonprofits and the veterans clubs? You know, because we have a hearing coming up, and it's. Well, uh, I don't have it in front of me. Any, any member, particularly of the House Ways and Means Committee, uh, Sheila Hickson, Hickson from Montgomery County uh, is the is the chair of the committee, and Anne Marie Dory from uh, Baltimore City is the vice chair. And it's, uh, I know we have a couple from the county. We have uh, Delegate Jolene Ivey, whose husband is the state's attorney, and of course Justin Ross from Greenbelt, right. whose father used to represent this district. And I'm trying to remember. I oh, think then we have we, a football we, player, Jay Walker, the old Redskins football player. If we get it to uh, to uh, Miss Hicks, Delegate Hickson, Hickson that yes. would be the best as yes. being the chair yep. chair mm -hmm. uh, member. But what we want is we want our legislators to to. to contact Sheila Hickson. Right. Mm -hmm. And Sheila's a nice person and her son who recently deceased is a Marine Colonel. So right. he's, he's, you know. And we're fortunate on the Senate side to have Senator oh, Peters. Absolutely, oh, absolutely. Yes. You know, right. and, uh, and Senator Julie Curry, Curry, chairman of the committee, who he, is a veteran. Right. And he's uh, in Prince George's County too. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, we're really fortunate on the Senate side, right. you know, to be able to uh, at, at least write letters and, and emails yeah. uh, to these uh, uh, legislators to, to let them know that these are in, in, important pieces you know, of legislation. You know, I, I, I agree on I get the feeling, though, email is so easy. Mm -hmm. I think people are getting buried with them. Mm. I, I still write letters, but, I, you know, I, I, mm -hmm. I, I've had a couple of things where I've sent out that I, I haven't gotten the response that I would expect. And it's, uh, yeah. you know. Like the honest may not know, they've had that slot machine bill on the eastern shore for 25 years now. Oh. And all we want to do is have that bill extended to the western shore. Mm -hmm. And it's at no cost to the government or the state at all. It's a zero cost. Yeah, every county in the eastern shore except Worcester Rooster, right. allows up to five slot machines and the veterans mm -hmm. and fraternal. And, and they want to be in on it now, too. Yeah, they, Worcester has changed their policy. Right. Mm -hmm. They want to be in on it. Because what it used to be that uh, Ocean City, the, the town fathers and the Chamber of Commerce in Ocean City are bitterly anti-gambling. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, that, what the last thing they want to become is an Atlantic City, you know, mm -hmm. where you have ten or twelve casinos and no other businesses, and that's right. kind of what Atlantic mm -hmm. City is. So they, they, the Atlantic City, the Ocean City City Council took the Lotto when Lotto was uh, not uh, Kino. They took that to the Court of Appeals. I mean, they fought that all the way. Mm -hmm. But now they've, they've apparently they've they've switched. They've changed their mind. Well, we've been very fortunate this evening to have someone with the breadth of knowledge uh, like Jerry has in the uh, legislature both here in the state and uh, at the federal level. So uh, we want to thank you again for uh, watching Veterans Forum. We hope you enjoyed the program and learned information useful to you. Now we ask you to get involved with other Bowie veterans by actively participating in one or more of the Bowie veterans organizations. You'll see their uh, names and their phone numbers as it scrolls through uh, the screen here. But if you want some support, you have to get involved. Let us know. Show up at the Post Homes. And we hope you get invo involved in this very important legislative year and in this legislative process. Thank you again for watching Veterans Forum. Uh, Janice Ruth on the camera. And uh, Tom Allen as our director.